Good morning. Really, good morning. It's 4.15 and I am about to go in and do truck. Um, and it's like a thousand piece truck. It's probably the biggest one I've done, but we're probably getting most of our Christmas stuff today. I know, crazy. Uh, but yes, you read the title right. I have so much to catch you guys up on. Um, so I'm Charlene. I quit the pharmacy. Uh, I filled out the wrong medical assistance form for Joy. Uh, so much, so much to catch up on. And you may even get a dance, a Walgreens dance, um, in the midst of all of it. So, all right, my boss is already here, my manager, and truck should be pulling up any minute, and we have to get ready. So I'm going to go do this, and then I'll be back later and fill you in on everything that's going on. Okay, let's go do truck. <laughs> Honey, honey, I got what you want Give me all of your love, cause it's burning hot It's what you do to me, babe, I can guarantee Honey, honey, I got what you need Okay, done with work A full day already at 12.30 Uh, yeah the post office again. I don't know why this in the Walgreens parking lot seems to be our meeting spot. Um, so yeah, uh, catch you up on stuff. Um, yeah, so first, Charlene, the, the only thing wrong is, yeah, I brought her to a new transmission place because they just, they work on transmissions and my normal place can't lift Charlene. So uh, it is just the sensor. And I talked to Earl from the warranty place. Well, I didn't talk to him, I was texting with him. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so I'm gonna get that fixed and taken care of. Um, and then I have been giving this a lot of thought. <laughs> get my hair cut on Monday. Um, and, I would have to, you know, I'm still paying um, insurance on Charlene. And then I have to pay to store her. And then, you know, winterize her and stuff. The winterizing is fine. Um, but to store it, and I can't afford to store her uh, inside, you know, like in a heated place. And so she'll be sitting out in the cold all winter long. I would buy something to put over and then I'd probably go once a week or twice a week to start her. But with everything that's going on, it's just, it's just too much. Um, and so I'll tell you too that I found out from the social worker Friday when the social work was there I found out that my mom's place which was private is being sold to it's called spark life I don't know if they're national or just local but I guess they own places so just like anything they're buying up private ones um, and with the waiver uh, that we we'll have to see through medical insurance if they accept the waiver and if this specific one doesn't then I would have to move Joy to at least then there be an option because they have so many facilities uh, but I'm hoping that she'll be able to stay there because um, I had already talked to Norbella but again it's gonna be a different company so we're just gonna have to wait and see I'm not getting my undies in a bundle about it yet because I don't know so I'm not gonna stress about what I don't need to stress about yet <laughs> if it comes to it, then maybe if I have to move her again. But at least we got rid of, you know, a lot of her stuff. So we pared down that much. Um, so it wouldn't be as hard. But the hard part would be she's already made good friends. She went to the apple orchard. You know, they play cards. So I think she's really enjoying, like, some of the people there. I'm sure all the people, but I mean specifically 
think she hangs out with some certain people. Uh, and it makes me feel good because I know she's taken care of, you know, she's eating, um, her pills are taken care of. So that has helped as far as me then taking care of the van and, you know, moving myself and everything. And then Jesse's wedding. So Jesse, my daughter, gets married next Friday on the 11th. So we just did a makeup trial last Saturday. <laughs> Even though I'm the mother of the bride, I'm doing uh, the makeup, which was fun. It was fun to do her hair and makeup. Uh, and she looks so beautiful. And then um, doing it for the bridesmaids too. <laughs> so that day I have to go pick up Joy. And then we have to wear me at 11.30. Then I'll do everybody's makeup and stuff. Then I'll get ready. I just found my outfit yesterday. And I think the wedding's at 4.30. And then it rolls right into the reception. So that'll be good. Um, trying to think of what else I have to fill you in on. Oh, so... And then with the litigation, I told my mom that when, we'll just say when, she gets her money, you know, don't know how much or whatever, but uh, I still would need to talk to a probate attorney and all the good stuff. But that I, she would buy a house or we would buy a house together with the money and then I would take care of her. The reason why I couldn't, because she was in a one bedroom apartment before, because I know people are like, well, you just live with her and stay there. It was just not conducive. And that's why I was so happy that I kept Charlene then. Remember, I'm like, oh, thank goodness I didn't give her away because that went to work. And so I had Charlene. So then I stayed in Charlene the rest of the summer. So for that amount of time, Charlene was great to have. Um, so, so that's kind of the plan because why spend 6200 a month when when she gets her money back that she can put it into a house something that it's invested in and then I'll take care of her um you know go from there and so now circling down the drain back to the van uh yeah so I'm gonna sell it and I'm even oh I know people on here have you know, wanted to buy Charlene. So, I mean, I'll consider, you know, like if you're really interested, only write me if you're really interested. <laughs> so I'm not gonna field a bunch of emails. Um, you know, people just asking like questions. Uh, trying to think, I'll put out a separate video of just Charlene. Uh, Cause I still, you know, she still has to be fixed uh, or, you know, get the sensor put in. Um, and next week's the wedding. But then I think that week after that, or if I have time next week, um, I'll do a video of Charlene. You know, I update her. I'll show a couple pictures right here. <laughs> Dodge Road Track 2001, uh, and she only has 92,000 miles on her. Um, and she now has new brakes. I just put new brakes in when I was in Florida last year. 
She has all new oxygen sensors. She has all new, all of them, fuel injectors. I think there's 12 of them, eight of them. How many she has? They're all new. Uh, let's see, all new tires. When I got back into town, um, she needed them. So she got all new tires and I haven't even really traveled on those tires. That was over a thousand dollars. She has a new transmission, which was $4,300. Uh, what else does she have? She has, oh, all new, I just got all new spark plugs and wires. All new spark plugs and wires. Um, so she's pretty much like all redone. And she's a beaut. I mean, it's like your own, you know, studio apartment in there. So she's purring like a kitten now. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna sell her now that I got it. But I would rather see somebody, you know, I know people would be like, don't, don't sell her, you're gonna regret it. But, you know, I never thought I would be able to buy a van and travel like I have. And I did it. And for three years I traveled cross country. I already did it. And I can't come from a point of lack or fear. That was the whole point of me getting on the road. You know, people would say, why aren't you afraid? And But that was the whole point, that I was afraid. And I mean, Sil and Charlene, I was thinking about, because I have to get my hair cut, and I was like, it's kind of like getting your hair cut. You know, it gets old on the ends, and you know, you need to cut it to keep it healthy, to keep it growing, and to be healthy. And uh, you know, and sometimes you're afraid to cut it. <laughs> But, good analogy, Tracy. Uh, sometimes you're afraid to cut it, but it's only hair, it'll grow back. And so, yeah, I, it's just, it's time because I, you know, I don't travel till fall anyway, because I love to stay, or yeah, I love Minnesota in the summer. And so I wouldn't, even if I kept Charlene, I wouldn't be using her till a year from now. And so why pay for the insurance and, you know, putting her outside and storing her outside when somebody else could be traveling and starting their adventure. Um, you know, and as far as my mom goes, I don't know what's going to happen there. So I'll be here probably, you know, for quite a while, which is fine. And then I'll just travel by airplane <laughs> and go further out. Um, so no, it's time. And like I said, I, I I did it once, which I never thought I could. I can do it again, if that's what I truly want to do at some point. But uh, yeah, now's the time. So yeah, so I'll be doing a video on that. I mean, if you truly are interested, I was thinking selling her for like 30,000. And if you have, you know, if you're truly interested, write me and tell me what you think. But again, uh, she only has 92,000 miles on her. Everything is redone. Pretty much a new van. I redid everything inside. She's beautiful. Um, yeah. So, she's all ready to get on the road. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not going to be in it with her. Uh, okay. I think that's all I had to catch up on. Now I'm going to the library. I got my coffee a little late because nothing's open at 4 in the morning. <laughs> when I'm getting to work. Uh, I've applied for like, I don't know, 25 jobs maybe. And so we'll see what happens there. And yeah, just live a life. But I'm not gonna live in fear because there's no reason. I was listening to Eamon Beck, uh, their podcast when I was doing truck this morning. There were 923 pieces. It was a lot of uh, Christmas stuff already. Um, but you know, I know I started, I, I do meditations at night and I found this one and it like regresses you back to like when you were in the womb and then it brings you forward. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if you think that's woo woo or whatever, but I just, um, I mean, life is life. I don't know. There's just, there's not much I need and everything I've ever wanted, I've, much gotten and I think 
I've, I don't even know if I like the word manifest anymore. Sometimes I don't even realize, like I'll put something out there, I'll think of something, and then all of a sudden I think back and I'm like, holy crap, I thought I bought that like a while ago and now it came to fruition. And it wasn't like I was paying that much attention to it. So I really, imagine if I really pay attention to what I want. So I'm starting to do that. I'm starting to truly like envision myself already. I have a cold. My nose is stuffed up. Um, already there. So I don't know what I, listen, I'm going to be 59 soon this month. What day is it? Oh, 24 days. I'm like, 59? Yeah, things have always worked out fairly well. So hopefully they'll continue. And uh, that's life. Life is the adventure. It's not the van. It's not, you know, the traveling. I mean, that is an adventure, but life is the adventure. You don't even have to do anything. And that's what I've come to realize that uh, you don't have to do anything grandiose. You know, I, well, I'm 59. <laughs> it's not like I'm going to start a big career, but looking back, it's like a career or making a lot of money. None of that. I thought that that's what I was supposed to do way back when. And it never made me happy or made me any different or thought that, you know, I thought, oh, once I reach this, you know, then I'll be somebody. Well, we're all somebody. You don't have to do anything special. You don't. You don't have to do anything special. You already are somebody. You are magic. So it's funny that comes full circle because that's exactly what I learned through all of, all of this, <laughs> all of this. That's what I learned. You don't have to do anything to be magic. You just are. You just are. And you don't have to do anything grandiose with your life for an adventure. You don't have to get in a van and go. Although if you want to buy Charlene, you can. So, okay, I'm going to let you go here. Um, okay, go out and make an adventure, which is just living your life. But, you know, if you want to do grandiose things or even just go to a different restaurant or small things, those are adventures too. Just live your life. Just live your life. Yeah. Go call someone you love. And as Joy says, tell them that you love them. Oh, and I'm working on, uh, the next thing up is I'm working on a story. I'm going to work on that now. So I like doing those. I'm excited. And don't you dare forget your magic. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.